Ananta-koti-vaishnava-vrindaki-namacharja-sila-haridas-takoti-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrindaki-vrinda
Everyone have a good nice rest. Good. Ready for a good walk. <laughs> yeah, today we're 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 here in Godram Dweep and we'll be in Godram Dweep for some of the day and then we're moving on to Majam Dweep later in the afternoon. That will be. So we're going to go to uh, Hari Harshetra, right? And then what's the next one? Oh Gorudaha. So you'll hear about the pastime which took place at Gorodaha. Pancharatna Prabhu, of course, will be coming. There'll be a drama there. And, uh, then we're going to Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur's residence at Swarupganj. So it's small. There's not much space there. You just simply go in, have darshan and come out. And then we have Surabi Kunj, which is just around the corner from Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur's residence. <coughs> so Rabbi Kunj, and there'll be talk there, and there'll be drama there, there'll be activity. And then breakfast will be? In the temple, Jagannath temple. Oh, at, at our Jagannath temple, just down the road from Surabi Kunj. So this place is very close together, not a lot of walking there. So that will be after Surabi Kunj. So after the program at Surabi Kunj, then we'll have breakfast at the Jagannath Mandir. Actually, that's like our Arogya Center, that uh, Jagannath Mandir. But it's not really a mandir. It was actually given to us by Divine Life Society, and we maintain a, you know, some health programs for the local people. We bring doctors and dentists there. They give free treatment to the local people there in Swarupganj. So that's what's going on in Arogya Bhavan, which Prabhu said, Jagannath Mandir, they have deities there. 
So we have breakfast there. And then? Oh. And so after breakfast, then we have to go to Hamsa Vahan. You see the deity of Hamsa Vahan, very special deity, Lord uh, Shiva. How he was eager <laughs> to come and hear Bhagavad Gita. So Hamsa Vahan, again, we we'll just go in and have darshan. We won't be able, to, I don't think we'll stop there, will we? No, because it's, it's a, the temple is in the middle of the road there. So there's too many of us to talk there. But we'll go on to Naimasharanya. All of the holy places are here in Mayapur Dham. Just as all the holy places are there in Vrindavan Dham. So Mayapur and Vrindavan are not different. And all of the holy places are here in Mayapur Dham. So Naimasharanya is also here in Mayapur Dham. And we'll go there and we'll have Kata there. And, and then? And then we'll move to Brahmanagar, there we are, we'll stay there. Oh, okay. So after Naimisharanya, they may move to Brahmanagar, and our camp is there, tomorrow, this evening. Yeah. Of distributors. <coughs> mm -hmm. What is it, Nitai Dwa? Nitai Daya Das. Nitai Daya Das. <coughs> So, three devotees distributed books yesterday. Ah. Nitai Daya Das. Ninety books. Jai, Jai Keshava Prabhu. Ten books. And Bhakta Vikram. Thirty-one books. So, total books. One hundred and thirty-one books. Yeah, books are available. Those of you who'd like to distribute some books in the Holy Dham, very nice. You can get some books after we finish the program this morning, before we leave. So uh, we'll be leaving what time? Huh? Okay, so 5.45, quarter... 15 minutes before 6 o'clock, we want to set off. Mm -hmm. And the devotees will be joining us, the ones who went back. They'll be, the buses will be bringing people out, they'll be joining us mm -hmm. on the way. So they'll come, probably come to Hamsa Bahan. Oh, uh, Harihar Shetra. Harihar Shetra. First stop, Harihar Shetra. Not far, very near. So they'll be coming in the buses and they'll be joining us. and. Crowd will expand, right? We all expand. <coughs> so these deities, here we have Nitai Padakamala, very special deities. They've been on the Parikramas for many years. Prabhupada <coughs> arranged the purchase of these deities. Some men came to Mayapur and Prabhupada purchased these deities from them. So they're very beautiful deities, very nice, very merciful. They were on the boat at one point. We had a boat, devotees were going up and down Ganga, different villages, doing programs. The deities were on the boat. So now they're on Parikrama with us every year. So you can see the altar is also, the, the singer sound has been decorated very nicely. Very beautiful, so many flowers. Those of you, those of you may, who are interested, you may like to help in the decoration. You can see it's very colorful, very attractive. One thing is when you go through the villages, it's very nice to get people to chant. You know, yes. when you see all the people come out there, and then you just say to them, <laughs> and, and they will all chant, they will all, it's very nice. Jaipataka Swami Maharaj used to have us compete. How many people can you get to say Hare Krishna in one day? 
so one and one day it's amazing you know sometimes you can go past the school and all the children will come out and if you say Sabboye, Hare, every one of them will go Hare Krishna. <laughs> so it's very nice, you know, try to remember, get people to chant. I was seeing yesterday people were chanting to me, you know. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so it, things are changing. More and more people are appreciating our movement in the Holy Dham. It's very nice. We have some people distributing prasadam, some people distribute books and give everybody at least the holy name. So that's very nice. So the luggage you have to put back where you got it. You have to get your luggage ready, put it back and we have to leave quarter to six. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Huh? Tosi Arti, right. Where's the table? Vrindai Tulasi Devaye Priyaye Kesabhasya Cha Vishnu Bhakti Pradidevi Satya Bhatya Namo Nama Vrindai Tulasi Vrinda etala se devaye priyaye ke sabhasya cha Vishnu Bhakti Pradidevi Satya Bhatya Namo Namaha Tosi Maharani Ki Namo Namo Tulasi Krishna Prayasi Namo Namo Krishna Seva Pabo Eya Bilasi
यानी पापाने ब्रह्म हथि खानी चा खनी तनी प्रदर्शन से प्रदक्षे न पदे पदे Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Devaye priyaye ke savashya Vishnu bhakti pradeve satya vatya namo nama. Vrinda ye tala se devaye priyaye ke savashya cha Vishnu bhakti pradeve satya vatya namo nama. Vrinda e talasi deva e priya e ke savasya cha Vishnu bhakti pradidevi satya vatya namo namaha Tausi Maharani ki Vaishnava Pranam. Now let us offer our respectful obeisances to all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are just like desire trees who can fulfill the desires of everyone and are full of compassion for the fallen conditioned souls. Vancha kaupata rubyascha kripa sindhu bhaivacha paditanam pavane bhyo vaishnavibhyo namo nama ananta koti vaishnavrinda ki. Thank <laughs> you. 
wonderful pastime which took place here. We have several speakers. We have a drama also. So be comfortable here. First of all, I want to thank Mohan Rupa Prabhu for that wonderful Guru Puja Kirtan. And of course we thank all the Delhi devotees also for their enthusiastic participation. Delhi is the capital for Kirtan as well. Huh? So we're going to hear, first of all, our first speaker, Dhiratamadhan Maharaj. He's also a great Kirtanier. He's going to speak about, to us about the glories of Kirtan chanting. This is still Godruma Dweep. That's why everything is so ecstatic. Many of you may not know, but over here, this great Dhrudha Karma Prabhu. Dhrudha Karma Prabhu has done some very, very valuable service for our Krishna consciousness movement by writing. We say the pen is mightier than the sword. Yeah? So his, his service for Srila Prabhupada has been writing. He helped a lot Makunda Maharaj doing books by coming back and then a number of articles about the Godhead later on he came up with his own research 
books like Forbidden Archaeology, different books like that, being presented in seminars also, in many different institutes around the world. <coughs> brought up, made us all aware of different cover-ups which are going on in the scientific world in terms of the, you know, the, the evolution of the world and different, what, what ancient civilization was like. So Guru Karma has done a lot of work on this and he's really uh, sent shockwaves around the academic world. So I thought it would be nice you could hear a little from him today. <laughs> Speaker, it's very fortunate to have him out with us on the international party. He's actually born in Mayapur Dam and he lived most all his life in Mayapur Dam and he knows this culture better than any of us. And we can come here today to tell us about the Leela which took place in Gorodaha, not a Gopal. So this is Surabi Kunj. Oh, we have the house. Shilo Bhaktivinoda Thakur here. Bhaktivinoda Thakur is staying here before he moved over to the house in Swami Karma. And when he was staying here, he wrote several books also. So we're going to hear about Shilo Bhaktivinoda Thakur. We'll hear also a little bit about the Surabi Kunj. We have also drama. We're going to be a little late. We're going to be a little late. He was given a benediction that he could live through seven kalpas. You know, just like some people, they want, they want a long life, they like to live a long time. They think the goal of life will live, live forever. So Mark and she got they said here should be Mataji's, in that side, left side. But he found yes. it was, it was so not quite, what should they go? Rather, it was so much difficulty. Because when the whole universe was in the daytime, we found that we got in the ocean. Along with so many other living entities there in the ocean. So we had a very difficult time just floating in the ocean of devastation. But by good fortune, we came to this place where Mother Surabi could, Mother Surabi resides. And he was able to get the milk from the Mother Surabi. Hare Krishna Prabhu. So, Srila Bhakti Vinod Prabhu here also. And he wrote about that this was the headquarters for Lord Nityananda, Namhata. So, very, very special place, very important. We're going to hear that Srila Prabhupada Namhata. Swami Maharaj, tell us something about the activities of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur and his preaching along with Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati. Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So time limits, so other speaker also there. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Maharaj. 
As Mara said, there's so much to say, but time does not permit. We have to go for breakfast, <laughs> so we'll catch up on all the other lilas and dramas and everything later. But first, let's go down the road to the Adroke Baban. Breakfast is waiting. Yeah, if you like, also please try to, when you come on Holy, on Parikrama, you must give some donations everywhere, give some contributions, there's a plate here, the one here will introduce, this is the, this is the Sanyasi Maharaj, containing the temple here, he built this temple on his own, by his own efforts, by his own preaching, for doing so I encourage everyone, come on Parikrama, but give some contributions everywhere, give some donations. Thank you, Maharaj. Now we'll hear from Ambarish Maharaj. He's going to tell us about the temple of Hamsavahan, which we passed on the way here. Thank you, Ambarish Maharaj. Now we'll hear Kavichandra Swami Maharaj. Kavichandra Maharaj is going to speak to us about So Rabbi Kunj, go drum to it. Anyway. All right. So now we're going to have drama. Today the drama is going to be done by the Delhi Yatra. Welcome all the devotees on our second day of Parikrama. We're still in Godrum Dweep. We've come to the place of Harihar Shetra. We, we, we would request the devotees, please try, be careful, you know, this is India, Vedic culture, we're representing the Vaishnava etiquette. So, it's important for us to show proper organization and it's important men with the men, ladies with the ladies. So I was walking along the parik in the parikrama and I noticed ladies coming forward very fast to get to the front. It's not very good. The ladies should stay with the ladies. You don't have to rush to the front to be in the front. And similarly, when we sit here, we should sit. Ladies one side, men the other side. So, Prabhu is telling me, right side is ladies, the left side for the men. So try to remember these things, try to remember, we, we want to show to the local people that we have organ, that we are organized and that we behave in the proper manner. So please, ladies, try to remember, men also, of course, for both of us. All right, so we're going to have a couple of speakers here. First, we'll hear from... Bhakti Anugraha Chanardhan Maharaj. Anugraha Chanardhan Maharaj is from... Usually is in Delhi, 
serving with His Holiness Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj. He's originally from Philippines. He joined the Krishna Consciousness Movement in Canada and he came to India to take up very full service in the Krishna Consciousness Movement. But he's going to tell us something about Lord Shiva here. Thank you, Maharaj. So, uh, the, this uh, temple here, you can see it has been renovated by the uh, charity trust which was set up by Srila Prabhupada. Before Srila Prabhupada departed from the world, he requested to set up one uh, charity trust which would aid the different temples in this area of Goramandala Bhumi. So this particular temple here, this Harihar Shetra's temple, was in, it was in very poor condition before our charity trust came along and gave substantial help to renovate and construct this present place. One of this, this is one of the many places in this Gormandala Bhumi which have been greatly benefited by the Bhaktivedanta Swami Charity Trust. So now we're going to hear from His Holiness Kavi Chandra Swami Maharaj. <coughs> You'll also see on the altar there's uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet <coughs> from Gaya. Vishnu Pada in Gaya. So it's also here. So we want you to understand Lord Vish Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva are not e equal. They're, 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 they have something in common. But there's a difference. As Maharaj was saying, they're one and different. There's a oneness, they're very intimate. That's why the form is there, is Hari and Hara, that they combine together in one form. Because Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva are so intimately connected. Lord Shiva is so dear to Lord Vishnu, because Lord Shiva takes on such difficult tasks in uh, delivering people in the mode of ignorance, giving mercy to the most fallen people. So he is very, very dear to Lord Vishnu, and that's why the, uh, Lord Shiva combines there in this one form with Lord Vishnu, so that we can appreciate their intimate connection. All right, so we're going to go on now. Gorada. 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 We'll hear about the past time which took place there. There's a drama there also. A drama, no? Yeah. 